morning, everyone. This week is a special week. It's a holiday week. Some of us celebrate Easter and some of us celebrate the holiday of Passover. So I wanted to read you some fun stories that had to do with some of the traditions that we follow for these holidays. So if you celebrate Easter, you might um, get chocolate chickens or chocolate eggs or chocolate rabbits and you might go on Easter egg hunts and wait for the Easter Bunny to come at night to bring you some goodies. So that's one of the traditions we celebrate when we celebrate Easter. So this is a really fun story and this happens to be one of my most favorite stories of all time, but also my most favorite Easter story. And I've been reading this story to my boys since they're little and even before that when my nephews were little. So I've been reading this story for like almost 35 years. This is a great story. Okay, so this is, you know this character. I think you know him. Do you know the, do you know who that is? Do you know Max and Ruby, the cartoon, Max and Ruby? There's a cartoon about Max and Ruby, their brother and sister, and there's also a lot of books about them. And this is called Max's Chocolate Chicken, and it's written by Rosemary Wells and illustrated by Rosemary Wells. She's written a lot of books. She's a really good author. And this one is called Max's Chocolate Chicken. Who do you think that is? Yeah, that's the Easter, but he's leaving Easter eggs all around for people to hunt at night, right? Oops, see, this book is so old, it's trying to come apart. I have to fix it. It has to go to the book hospital. One morning, somebody put a chocolate chicken in the fountain. I love you, said Max. It's actually a bird bath. Wait, Max said Max's sister, Ruby. First, we go on an egg hunt. If you find the most eggs, then you get the chocolate chicken. If I find the most eggs, then I get the chocolate chicken. Max went looking for eggs, but all he found was a mud puddle. Ruby found a big yellow egg. Max didn't find any. No eggs, no chicken, said Ruby. Max went looking again, but all he found were some acorns. Ruby found a blue egg. Max, said Ruby, pull yourself together. Otherwise, you'll never get the chocolate chicken. So Max went looking with Ruby. Ruby found a red egg with green stars and Max found a spoon. Ruby found a gold egg with purple stripes and a turquoise egg with silver swirls and a lavender egg with orange polka dots. What did Max find? Can you see in the picture? He found some ants. What do you think Max is going to do with the ants and the acorns and the mud and the spoon? Well, he made ant and acorn pancakes. Max, said Ruby, You'd have trouble finding your own ears if they weren't attached to your head. Ruby counted her eggs. I'm the one who's going to get the chocolate chicken, Max. So Max ran away and hid. Oh my goodness, what did he do? <gasps> can, he stole the chocolate chicken, but look, somebody, can you spy somebody watching in the background? Who's watching in the background? The Easter Bunny. Uh-oh. The bird bath or the fountain was empty. Where are you, Max? Ruby called, and Max ate the chicken's tail. I see you, Max said Ruby, but she didn't really see him. And Max ate the chicken's head. I'll give you half the chocolate chicken, Max, yelled Ruby, and Max ate the wings. Then he popped out of his hiding place. Oh, Max, said Ruby, how could you do this to me? What did, what's going on behind Ruby's back? Mm -hmm. Somebody who was watching the whole time. And Max looks at the bird bath and he says, I love you. That's a funny little story. Max was a little bit naughty, right? He just loves chocolate chickens, right? And what did the Easter Bunny notice? That when he took it, he gave another one. And hopefully, who gets to eat that one? I hope it's Ruby, right? But you have to remember that 
Ruby is older. She's the older sister and Max is the little boy, right? And he's kind of little. He doesn't really talk that much. So he's little. I know a lot of you have little brothers and sisters and they don't always understand the rules, right? Because they're too little to understand and we get angry at them sometimes when they don't follow the rules. But we also have to understand that they're just little. So this is a nice fun little story about Easter, but it's also a fun story that will teach us a little bit about how little kids act sometimes. They don't always make good choices. Sometimes they make poor choices. But in this case, the Easter Bunny understood that he was just a little boy and the Easter Bunny gave him another one. So I hope if you celebrate Easter, the Easter Bunny brings you lots of goodies. Have fun.